wasn't much to say about Starlight, I don't think. Mm -hmm. um, what, what would one have to know? I guess a lot of the emotion for the poem comes from the fact that my father doesn't live very long after this. Starlight. My father stands in the warm evening on the porch of my first house. I'm four years old and growing tired. I see his head among the stars, the glow of his cigarette, redder than the summer moon riding low over the old neighborhood. We are alone, and he asks me if I am happy. Are you happy? I cannot answer. I do not really understand the word, and the voice, my father's voice, is not his voice, but somehow thick and choked, a voice I have not heard before, but heard often since. He bends and passes a thumb beneath each, each of my eyes. The cigarette is gone, but I can smell the tiredness that hangs on his breath. He has found nothing and he smiles and holds my head with both his hands. Then he lifts me to his shoulder, and now I too am there among the stars, as tall as he. Are you happy, I say? He nods in answer, yes, oh yes, oh yes. And in that new voice, he says nothing, holding my head tight against his head, his eyes closed again up against the starlight, as though those tiny blinking eyes of light might find a tall, gaunt child, holding his child against the promises of autumn, until the boy slept, never to waken in that world again. <laughs>